Vilnius, the jewel of the north, is a small and cozy capital for you to enjoy at any time of year. There are plenty of things to do in Vilnius, so be prepared for the top 10 things to do recommended by the locals, because who knows their own city best? Let's roll! Let's start our video with a quick overview of the city. Vilnius is famous for the hot air balloon dotting the skyline on any beautiful summer day. The highest viewing point of Vilnius is the Soviet-built TV tower, but the nicest view of the old town can be reached after climbing 193 steps in your new church bell tower. If it happens to be a sunny day, head to the Opera Social Club, grab a drink and enjoy beautiful sunset on the rooftop terrace surrounded by the local people and live music. I bet you didn't know that Vilnius has a republic inside the city. Welcome to Uzrupis, located just a quick hop over the river from Vilnius city center. With charming alleyways, artisan stores, cozy coffee shops and restaurants, there is always something to discover in Uzrupis. It's an ideal spot to wander and get lost. If you need a break during a hectic day of sightseeing, you can go wrong with going directly to the Hippo Peace Market. The market hosts nearly 20 food and beverage outlets, including several options for local produce and grocery shopping. This place has something to offer for everyone. Are you more of a history buff? Then let's go for the most beautiful part of Vilnius. Old Town. It is a stunning UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for winding cobblestone street, picturesque churches and historical buildings. And the best part is that everything is so close that you can walk everywhere on foot. Make sure to bring your walking shoes and a camera, because you're going to want to capture the beauty of Vilnius. Let's go and see the spectacular Vilnius Cathedral. It is a primary example of the neoclassical style. Or perhaps you are more interested in castles? Climb on Gediminas Hill to explore a castle in the heart of the city center. Going further, you will reach what once called a Jewish quarter. Today, Jewish street is really quiet, but back in days it was one of the city's most vibrant arteries. If you are still lacking for more to see, the charming street is definitely worth stopping by is Literato Street, decorated with an art dedicated to prominent authors in Lithuanian literature, is a perfect stop for a picture. Prison inside the city? Sounds interesting, right? Let's go and check it with your own eyes. For many years, the Lukishkes prison was protected by high walls and barbed wire, but today this area awaits curious visitors. The century-old prison has turned into an art space where many creators and artists work. Take a seat, grab a drink, enjoy a concert or take a guided tour to learn more about past prison life. When strolling through the streets of Vilnius, it's hard not to notice street art soaring almost everywhere you go, especially in urban locations such as Newtown, famous for its street art and hipster places to party and have a few drinks with locals. Take a visit to an old fellow, Tony Soprano, who is waiting for you in Piranha's bar for a couple of pints of local craft beer. The bar is located inside the railway station, right by the rail tracks. You might even take a seat outside and sip your drink while train spotting. Then visit the nearby Halle Market, which is famous for its versatile nature, market in the day and cool party place after the sunset. So go there and immerse yourself in the city's bohemian nightlife. One more tip. If you want to feel better after a long night out in Vilnius, I recommend you to try these hangover chips. You can find them in the Yoki Bar. This is the perfect fatty and salty bomb for your cravings um, after the night out. When you get tired of walking around and partying, don't worry. Vilnius food scene has you covered. Yes, Vilnius is small, but it has a big appetite for new, unexplored flavors and cuisines. Although it has a very strong stand on traditional too. Have you ever seen such a beautiful pink color in a soup plate? Try Shaltibarshi, which is also very refreshing on a hot summer days. 
You don't have to stick to traditional Lithuanian food to enjoy eating out. You can also find Moroccan, Vietnamese, Thai, Mexican and other cuisines. And if you are a real meat lover, it is also taken very seriously in the Vilnius gastronomical scene. Good quality steak and lots of varieties of different meaty delicacies are waiting for you. Vilnius love its nature and green scenery. As soon as the sun shines through the grey skies and especially on the weekends, the biggest park in Vilnius, Vingis Park, is packed with people and hot air balloons. The park also hosts concerts, events and festivals that take place on the stage in the center of the park. Surrounded by nature, you can relax and immerse yourself in the music or just have fun with friends. Both young and old often gather here during the day to relax and sit on the grass. Looking for a change in scenery? Right next to the park there is Jverina's neighborhood, which will greet you with authentic wooden architecture. The entire area is a time capsule. Vilnius is packed with museums. We got everything covered, from the national art and craft to the darker chapters of Vilnius history. Although the KGB museum once was a scary place, now you can learn its very intense and captivating story inside the same walls which can tell stories about brave but unfortunate people. And if you want more, go to Kaziz Varnales House Museum. It contains more than 40 exhibition spaces combining antique graphic art, maps, Western European sculpture and painting, as well as a Varnales' own optical art compositions. If you are more into street art, go to Open Gallery. This unique open-air art gallery is a long-term art project and cultural initiative that presents urban culture in an original way. Coffee in Vilnius is a big deal. Thanks to the big coffee lovers community, the coffee scene has exploded in the past few years, bringing an incredibly vibrant and connoisseur-like culture to the city. During the daytime, you will often find people working on their laptops as the cafes invite everyone to escape their offices for a delicious cup of coffee. Longer nights mean longer parties. Once the sun sets, the stage for nightlife in Vilnius is set. Be it a pop crawl, dancing until dawn, or just a perfect night out, out of the town, Vilnius is a city buzzing with people, chatter and fun. Join the party because everyone is invited. And a bonus tip! A magnificent panorama can be viewed from the exposure, the winding Vilna River, the hills and forest of Pavilne Regional Park, the Puchkore Manor and the former Cannon Foundry. So take some snacks and spend some time in the beautiful nature of Vilnius. From the early morning hours to long into the starry night, Vilnius has something to offer for all of us. Hopefully, this top list will get you inspired to enjoy this vibrant city in the center of Europe. And for more recommendations, please go and check govilnus.lt.